grand old partisan celebrates more than 16 decades of Republican heroes and heroics. Today, I honor Frederick Douglass, born a slave in 1818 on a Talbot County, Maryland plantation. Not knowing his actual birthday, but remembering that his mother had called him her little Valentine, he chose February 14th. Age 20, he escaped northward, becoming a prominent abolitionist orator and essayist. One facet of this great man's life deserving more emphasis is that he was a great Republican. His political career began in 1860 when he supported Abraham Lincoln for the presidency. Three years later, a Republican governor named him to recruit African-American soldiers for the 54th and 55th Massachusetts regiments during the Civil War. His sons Lewis and Frederick Douglass Jr. fought in the battle portrayed in the movie Glory. Page 78 of Back to Basics for the Republican Party explains that Douglass was a key advisor to President Lincoln. At his second inaugural ball, the war nearly over, Lincoln was confident, confident enough to go public about his esteem for a black man. Hearing that he was being denied entry, the president had him shown in, greeting him with, quote, here comes my friend Douglas, and shaking his hand. Such a gesture was unprecedented and could scarcely have been thought possible just a few years before. As token of their friendship, Mary Lincoln later presented Douglas with her husband's walking stick. 25 years, Douglas served on the District of Columbia Republican Committee. President Ulysses Grant appointed him an envoy to the Dominican Republic. President Rutherford Hayes appointed him Marshal of the District of Columbia. During the Garfield and Arthur administrations, he was the Capitol's recorder of deeds. President Benjamin Harrison named him ambassador to Haiti. Many prominent Republicans, including Susan B. Anthony, attended his funeral at the AME Church on M Street Northwest in the nation's capital. There is a statue of Frederick Douglass at the U.S. Capitol. He said famously, quote, I am a Republican, a black dyed-in-the-wool Republican, and I never intend to belong to any other party than the party of freedom and progress. Back to Basics for the Republican Party is my civil rights history of the GOP. To quote the book, the more we Republicans know about the history of our party, the more the Democrats will worry about the future of theirs. For more information, see grandoldpartisan.com.